This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Dancy Moeller. Hi, everybody, and welcome to High School Whiz Quiz. I'm your host, Dancy Moeller. We are thrilled that you can join us because you're going to see a great show. We have two fantastic games that are going to be played in just about a minute. We have Defiance taking on Patrick Henry, and a little bit later, you're going to see Salina face off against Lima Central Catholic. We have our judge with us, Mark Dickman, and we appreciate the fact that he is joining us again this year. We're going to introduce you to our players now, many familiar faces, and let's start with Defiance High School. Joining us from Defiance is Connor Black, Xavier Payne, Ethan McCabe, and Ben Adkins. Defiance High School is coached by James Kerr. Welcome to book back to all of you gentlemen. All right, turning now to Patrick Henry. Playing for Patrick Henry is Nick Yates, Emily Tackett, Chase Grimm, and Brett Sugg. And Patrick Henry is coached by Rick Fricky. Welcome back to you as well, team. All right, we have our first round of questions. 10 questions for 10 points apiece. Get those buzzers ready. You all know the drill, but just please speak up as loudly as you can and make your answers as complete as possible. All right, everybody ready? Here we go, question number one. What was the first country Hitler invaded in World War II? Yes, defiance. Poland. Poland is the correct answer. In 1963, the Gateway Arch was built in what city? Yes, Defiance. St. Louis. St. Louis is correct. Question number three in your game. Who was President George W. Bush's vice president? Yes, Defiance. Dick Cheney. Dick Cheney is the correct answer. All right, question number four. What site was used for the prime meridian at zero degrees? Yes, that would be Patrick Henry. Greenwich, England. That is the correct answer. All right, question number five in this first round. Give the cube root of 27. Yes, Patrick Henry. Three. Three is the correct answer. Identify the three-pronged spear carried by the sea god. Yes, that would be defiance. Trident. I'm sorry? Trident. Trident is the correct answer there. All right, number seven in your game. <coughs> Name the famous jewelry store in New York City founded in 1837. Yes, Patrick Henry. K Jewelry. That is incorrect. Defiance, you want to try it? Yes. Swarovski. That is also incorrect. The answer is Tiffany. All right. Three questions remaining in this first round. How many apostles were there? Yes, Patrick Henry. Twelve. Twelve is the correct answer. Name the marionette whose, whose nose grew longer. Yes, that would be defiance. Pinocchio. Pinocchio is the correct answer. All right, you have one question remaining in this first round of your game. Prince Charming is from what Disney movie? Yes, Patrick Henry. Cinderella. Cinderella is correct. Okay, we've come to the end of round one in our game between Defiance High School and Patrick Henry. Here is our score. Patrick Henry with 40 points, Defiance with 50. We'll be back with the final two rounds right after this break. Don't go away. Tonight's Whiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All 
right, we are two rounds away from finding out which of these teams will be moving on to our semifinals. We have a game going now between Patrick Henry and Defiance High Schools. Our score, Defiance with 50 points, Patrick Henry with 40. That means Defiance, you are going to lead this next round. Five questions worth five points apiece. They're yours exclusively, but please ring in with the buzzer. All right, here we go. Question number one. What P word is another name for a lie detector? Yes. Polygraph. Polygraph is correct. In what movie was the line, there's no place like home? Yes. The Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz is correct. What was the nickname given to those who took part in the California Gold Rush? Yes, Defiance. 49ers. 49ers is the answer. Okay, you have two questions remaining. In the Bible, name the mother of Cain, Abel, and Seth. Time is up. The answer is Eve. All right, your final question in round two. Name the capital of Spain. Yes. Madrid. Madrid is the answer. Okay, Patrick Henry, it's your turn now. Everybody set over here. All right, please ring in with your answers. Name the U.S. city that is considered to be the home of country music. Yes. Nashville. Nashville is correct. What is the most serious form of skin cancer? Time is up. The answer is melanoma. All right. Name the epic poem by Dante about hell. Yes. Dante's Inferno. That is the correct answer. Okay, you have two questions remaining in the second round. Identify the lovable Walt Disney elephant. Yes. Dumbo. Dumbo is correct. And here's your final question. What is the armed forces bugle signal used to wake up soldiers? It is revelé, if that is the correct way to pronounce that. All right, very good. We are moving on to our final round. Here's our score. It's still a tight game. Patrick Henry, you have 55. Defiance with 70. So we are moving on to our final round, 10 questions with 10 points apiece. Again, all up for grabs. Is everybody ready? All right, take a deep breath and let's have some fun here. What kind of animal was Stuart Little? Yes, that'd be Patrick Henry. A mouse. A mouse is correct. What is the sci-fi term for an artificial but human-like being? Yes, defiance. Android. Android is the answer. Name the photographer who is famous for black and white photos of national parks. Yes, that would be Defiance. Kodak. Kodak is incorrect. So Patrick Henry, we can turn it to you. Nothing. Ansel Adams is the answer. All right. Identify the small kangaroo-like Australian marsupial. Yes, that would be Patrick Henry. The dingo. That is incorrect. Defiance, you want to try? Wallaby. Wallaby is the answer we're looking for. Okay, moving on to question number five in your game. What type of art does David Cho create? Yes, that would be Patrick Henry. Abstract. That is incorrect. Defiance, you've got a chance to try this one. Modern art. That is also incorrect. We're looking for graffiti. All right, question six in your game. What is the longest river in Asia located? Yes, that would be Patrick Henry. The Ganges River. That is incorrect. Defiance, would you like me to complete the question? Yes, please. 
What is the longest river in Asia located in China? Yes. The Yangtze. The Yangtze River is correct. All right, we have four questions remaining in this game. Name the officer of a congressional political party who maintains discipline. Yes, that would be defiance. The whip. The whip is the correct answer. Question number eight. What are the strong river-like channels in the ocean that don't technically pull you under? Yes, that would be Patrick Henry. Currents. Could you expand the answer? Rip currents. Rip currents is correct. Okay, we have two questions remaining in this game. Name the process of transferring the blood of a person into the veins. Yes, that would be Patrick Henry. Blood transfusion. That is correct. And one question remains. What is the capital of Delaware? Defiance. Dover. Dover is correct. Okay, we've come to the end of our game between Patrick Henry and Defiance High Schools, and it was very well played by both teams. Patrick Henry, you have 85 points. Defiance High School, 120. So congratulations, you'll be moving on to our semifinals. Patrick Henry, thank you so much for joining us this season. All right, we'll be back with our next game right after the break. Stay with us. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All right, we're moving closer to semifinals. We know one of the players right now between Defiance and Patrick Henry. Defiance came out the winner there, so they will be moving on to take on the winner of this game now between Salina and Lima Central Catholic. All right, let's introduce you to our players. Joining us from Salina High School, we have Graham Gower, Craddock Bridge, Gage Seals, and Malcolm Head. Salina is coached by Hal Hoover. Welcome back, gentlemen. All right, turning now to Lima Central Catholic. Playing for LCC is Sam King, John Schreenan, Quentin Potempa, and Danny Sikoski. And LCC is coached by Nancy Sikoski. Welcome back to you as well. Okay, you know the drill. We have 10 questions in this first round, and they are all worth 10 points apiece. Again, we can't stress it enough. Just make sure when you buzz in that you speak up with your answers and make sure they're as complete as possible. Okay, everybody ready? Who was the first U.S. president to make an appearance in a car? Yes, LCC. Uh, Theodore Roosevelt. That is the correct answer. Name the instrument used in meteorology to measure atmospheric pressure. LCC. Barometer. Barometer is correct. Question number three. Name the severe worldwide economic depression that took place mostly during the 1930s. Yes, that would be Salina. The Great Depression. The Great Depression is correct. Question four. What is the color on the top light of a traffic light? Salina. Red. Red is the answer. What does a philographer collect? Yes, that would be Salina. Stamps. That is incorrect. LCC, you want to try it? Insects. Also incorrect. It is autographs. All right, question number six. In the movie Cars, what type of vehicle was matter or matter? Yes. Tow truck. Tow truck is correct. And how do you pronounce that? Mater. Mater. All right, well, I'm oh, glad that you got it anyway then. All right, question seven. The song, The Music of the Night, is from what Broadway musical? 
Yes, Selina. Phantom of the Opera. That is correct, the Phantom of the Opera. Okay, you have three questions remaining in round one. Who wrote the play Measure for Measure? Yes, Selina. William Shakespeare. That is the correct answer. All right, the Alamo mission, commonly called the Alamo, is in what city in Texas? Yes, LCC. Uh, San Antonio. San Antonio is correct. All right, you have one question remaining in this first round. Who invented the ink blot test? Salina. Rorschach. That is the correct answer. Okay. Wow, we have a close game. Salina, you have 50 points. Lima Central Catholic with 40. That means, Salina, you are going to lead this next round. You're going to have five questions, exclusively yours. Please make sure you buzz in with the answers. Name the creator of the series of paintings, Water Lilies. Monet. Yes. Monet. Could you expand his name? Claude. Claude Monet. Claude Monet is correct. All right, who was the German-born theoretical physicist Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein is the correct answer. He developed the theory of relativity. All right, question three. What television historical drama follows the lives of the Crawley family and their servants in the family's Edwardian country home? Little yeah. House in the Prairie. That is incorrect. It is Downton Abbey. All right, two questions remaining in the second round. Madame Eglinton is a character in what work? Yes. Oliver Twist. Oliver Twist is incorrect. Canterbury Tales is what we're looking for. Okay, final question, second round. Identify the musical term that means very loud. Yes. Fortissimo. Fortissimo is the correct answer. Okay. Let's go. Now, LCC, it's your turn for your five questions. Please buzz in with your answer. Bern is the capital of which European country? Yes. Switzerland. Switzerland is correct. What is the largest man-made lake in Ohio? Yes. Uh, Grand Lake St. Mary's. Grand Lake is the correct answer. All right. In what town did Shakespeare grow up? Yes. A London. London is incorrect. Stratford is the answer there. Okay, two questions remaining in the second round. What branch of physics is devoted to the study of heat and related phenomenon? Yes. Thermodynamics. Thermodynamics is a correct answer. And your final question in this round, the second round, what element do you add to copper and zinc to get bronze? Yes. Tin. Tin is the answer. Okay, we've come to the end of our first two rounds. Here is our score right now. Lima Central Catholic, 60 points. Salina, 65. We've got a close game. We will be back with the final 10 questions before we move on to semifinals right after this. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. Well, we have a great game going right now between Salina and Lima Central Catholic. Only five points difference between these two teams. LCC with 60 points, Salina with 65. Again, the winner will be moving on to semifinals. 
This last round, teams, again, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. They're up for grabs. Get the buzzers ready. And here we go with question one. Name the legendary bird that rises from the ashes. Yes, Salina. Phoenix. Phoenix is the answer. What is the girl in Monsters Incorporated called? Boo. Yeah, Boo is correct, Salina. Question number three. Identify the capital city of Norway. Salina. Oslo. Oslo is correct. All right, moving on to question number four in your game. What is a giant cloud of gas and dust in the galaxy called? Salina. Nebula. Nebula is the answer. What is the name of our galaxy? Yes, that would be LCC. Uh, Milky Way Galaxy. Milky Way is correct. All right, question number six. Name the capital city of Portugal. Salina. Lisbon. Lisbon is correct. Give the L word for a mysterious Irish elf. Salina. Leprechaun. Leprechaun is correct. Okay, teams, you have three questions remaining in this game. Name the male bee that does not gather honey and has no sting. Salina. The bumblebee. That is the incorrect answer. LCC, you want to try it? Yes. Worker bee. Also incorrect. The answer is the drone. All right, two questions remain. What is the first prime number? Salina. One. That's incorrect. LCC? Two. Two is the answer there. And your final question in this game. What is the term for one who starts his own business? Salina. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur is the answer. All right, everybody exhale now. We've come to the end of our game. Between Lima Central Catholic and Salina High Schools, here is our final score. LCC with 80 points. Salina, 135. So congratulations. You'll be moving on to semifinals. LCC, thanks for joining us for once, once again this year. And we want to thank you for watching at home, playing along with us. We will see you back here next week. Bye-bye, everybody. Everybody.